Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's class, we are going to discuss our next chapter in grammar and that is punctuation. So the first question that arises is, why do we need punctuation? Punctuation allows the author's writing to be easy to read and understandable for the reader. Or we can say punctuation marks are the traffic lights for reading, telling the reader when to pause, when to stop and how to proceed. So first of all, we learn about full stop. It indicates when used at the end of a sentence, a strong pause. For example, let's go there. So we have put a full stop after there. Read this book. I like this laptop. I will go home. Full stop is also used at the end of declarative and imperative sentence. And after abbreviations like etc, am, pm, after words like goodbye, alright, hi, you can see in the examples, or after titles like Mr, Mrs, Doctor, etc. And last point, after decimal points like you can see in the examples, the sales fell by 6.3% this week. Now our next is question mark. As we all know, we put question mark whenever we ask a question in a sentence. To show that a direct question has been asked whether in direct speech, enclosed within inverted commas or as a part of a passage of writing. Second, a statement which asks a question shall attract an interrogation mark. In both the cases, we will use question mark at the end of a sentence. Next is exclamation mark. As we all know, whenever we express sudden feelings, we use exclamation mark at the end of a sentence. First point. To exclaim over something like a dramatic confession, a warning, an expression of anger, joy, etc. It is used by writers to convey an emotion to the reader. An exclamatory mark is used after a strong imperative sentence. For example, keep quiet, what a victory, etc. So, Whenever we express strong emotion or sudden feeling, we will use exclamation mark at the end of a sentence. Next is use of comma. First rule is use a comma to separate words or items in a list. Example, she has two dogs, comma, three cats, one bird and five fish in her house. Second rule, use a comma to separate a city from its state. For example, I am from East Lansing, comma, Michigan. Rule 3. Use a comma to separate the day of the month from the year. For example, he was born on August 4, comma, 1990. And the last rule is use a comma to separate two adjectives describing words. When the word and can be inserted between them. For example, she was a young, comma, beautiful dog. So, in this way, we use comma in a sentence. Now, next is semicolon. A mark of punctuation used to connect independent clauses. Independent clauses means that can stand alone and show a closer relationship than a period does. Use a semicolon when you want to form a bond between two statements, typically when they are related to or contrast with one another. C. To complete a sentence, the mark of semicolon is used. For example, there was an earthquake semicolon, however, no loss of life. So in this way, we use semicolon. One more point to remember is, the words such as however, therefore, hence, thus, besides are used after a sentence. Next is quotation mark or inverted commas. 
Inverted commas are used for words that are in direct speech. In this case, the punctuation at the end is placed within the inverted comma. As you can see in the examples, I asked inverted comma open, who is the class teacher of your class? Inverted commas closed. Second, the inspector asked inverted commas open, who is your employer? Question mark, what is his name? Inverted commas closed and then question mark. So in this way we use quotation marks or inverted commas or we can say in case of direct speech. It is used to indicate the exact words of the speaker. So these were the punctuations that are given in your book. I hope this is clear to you all. Thank you.